How's it going there, everybody? <clears throat> Over here at the garage, doing a little bit of work, getting ready to head to the house. Uh, things are still coming together. Uh, we got most of our parts in yesterday. We're still waiting on plug wires and a seal kit for the transmission. Um, hopefully that showed up sometime today or hopefully by tomorrow. Um, other than that, I've just been doing second coat of painting, getting stuff prepped. Uh, tomorrow I'm probably going to roll out the metal, get it cut out for the firewall. But, um, give you a little glance of a little bit of goodies we got. So, I got my racing harness in. So I got those. Which, I'm glad for that. Got to have seat belts. So I went ahead and played with it a little bit. Got the shoulder harness parts in. And um, what else do we get? Oh, we got our mufflers. We got our collector reducers. So there's our mufflers. We're running cherry bombs, our thrush. There's a three and a half to two and a half collectors. My air socks. I just got finished putting the tag on and the tag light, guys. You know, everybody was asking me about tag light. It's on there. But, you know, things are coming together nice and slow. But the big stuff is done on the car. You know, the only things left to do is put the drivetrain in it, drive shaft in it. And uh, other than that, just a little nickel and dime stuff and that's usually the stuff that takes the longest because you keep checking off once and twice and you got to go back again well i forgot this so i'm trying to double check everything like i said before i'm going from the front to the back um, got a little bit more of the painting done so i've got everything painted in here i want to get painted So basically, for my firewall, it's going to be white. Top up here where the speakers are at, that's going to be white. I got to get all that cut out. Um, drill holes for the seat belts. Get the other seat in. And basically, drop a drivetrain. Now, the other thing we got with our purchase, too, the other day, we got these velocity stacks. So, yeah, those look nice. But a lot of guys on my other video, I was stating about where I wanted to put the logo or the slag hammer emblem at. And some of you might got a sneak peek of it um, on Tony's video yesterday, but I'm going to go ahead and reiterate with it. So, by majority rules, everybody commented, 97% of y'all said put it on the rear quarter. So, that's what I did. And I actually kind of like it. I know some of y'all don't like the font, but that's okay. This is what we wanted for our font. It adds to the rude and crudeness of the car. But I do appreciate everybody's input. But I've also got her making me up a couple more things that I'll share here probably this weekend. <laughs> it's kind of going to match the font. So sorry, guys. It's the font that we like. Um, other than that, man, I've just been touching up some things. Oh, also got the fuel line rubbed in. So I've got it about where I want it at for right now. So all we're gonna do now is get the hoses for the back and to the front, and that'll complete the fuel system. And, um, oh yeah, we also got new tires. So now, 
I don't have to really worry about it. We got brand new rubber all the way around. Tony's got some chrome lug nuts ordered. They were supposed to come in today as well for the front. Um, like I said before, for now, we're going to stick with the back for the power tour. For those guys, we're talking about, well, they're sticking out way too far and all that good stuff. It's just for the power tour. Hopefully, we'll get the rims in. We'll see what happens, but it's not going to be until sometime middle of July uh, into the third week. So, anyway, that's what we're going to run with. Now, once I'm done with events and stuff like that, the slicks will go on with a different rim. and It'll bring it in a little bit. But other than that, that's what we're running. And I think that's about it right now. So, anyway, I'm going to get cleaned up, head to the house. Oh, yeah, by the way, my charger broke down last night. I was not a happy camper. Had to call Ethan up. He drove all the way back here to the shop, picked me up. Um, the ignition quit working on it. So I don't know if it's the ignition itself or the slave pin that goes between the actual ignition for the key to the ignition itself. Um, I'm going to mess with that over the weekend. But thanks for my son for picking me up. And... Yeah, I work on everybody else's cars. Mine break down too once in a while. So I gotta get to it. But anyway, I'm leaving here. I'm heading to the house. I'm gonna chill out for a little bit. Be back here tomorrow. We got a lot of stuff going on. But other than that, guys, appreciate it as always. And I'll see you down the road.